Oh hey guys, welcome back to another repo video here. We're just cleaning off the old Fordzilla, baby. Oh, I need to make that hose longer. I need to get an extension. All right, here's the Fordzilla. We're cleaning her off, making her look real nice and shiny again. Thank you, Rolling Cool Customs, for hooking us up. We actually got a pretty good discount, not going to lie, because, you know, we're kind of like a... We're actually like a business here, and so you kind of get the business discount, and obviously I left the logo on so I could rep them, and you also get a discount for that. But I feel like there, there's only one place you can get these trucks at Rolling Cool Customs. Like, even if I had the RC, RCC logo on there anyway, I feel like it wouldn't people would still be like oh that yeah there's only one place to get them so first thing we have today guys actually pretty pretty cool it's it's a pretty cool mod and a pretty cool vehicle it's a sprinter car or excuse me a sprint car i think i'm sure there's a hundred names hundred different names for them just like anything uh a sprint car so we're gonna go pick that up it's at a really like really pretty nice home like not super nice like we've been to nicer homes but like i'm I got some pictures of like the outside i got a few tips from the bank on like who it is i kind of looked up and researched and then i had uh when i came to work today i, I drove by the home as well because i knew i was going to come repo it okay where's my there we go we'll go ahead and shut the gates here as we are leaving the shop there we are in the last one and then let's flip the lights off hold my door shut there she is all right so let's jump in the old rollback here and uh and yeah we're kind of representing a lot of different truck brands too i kind of forgot about that i mean we got i think we have dodge ford and uh, yeah dodge and ford okay never mind i thought we had a chevy but we have the patriot over there as well so the fordzilla i don't know if i'm gonna pull it out today if we get like a rescue call of course i'll pull it out like yeah i'm gonna pull it out like that'll be so much fun I'll, i i'm gonna try and use it as much as i possibly can guys but first things first oh okay my phone's telling me take a left how couldn't i all right i think we're good all right so what we want to do is get on the road here again i drove by it today didn't see the sprint car like totally understand i'm gonna have to kind of snoop around and and try to figure out there is no garage maybe yeah there's n there's no garage when i drove by it was not like a detached garage or anything there wasn't there wasn't like a like a driveway and i didn't see it like up on a trailer it's a sprinter car it's not it's not a daily driver so it's kind of weird that we're repoing one of these it's like like it's a sprint car it's it's one of the racing cars i actually have like no idea i've been no i haven't been to a race i've been to like i think i've been to like a a race similar to these where like the cars like drift in circles you i'm sure a lot of you guys watching have way more idea than me it's like a dirt track they have like the fin not the fins but like the panels on top so i think that's supposed to help with like aerodynamics and like drifting and stuff like getting it sideways but i really have no idea okay i gotta back up here and we gotta take the dirt road the phone was kind of glitching out and these roads don't really register so we're gonna have to yeah we're gonna have to go a little bit off road here all right yeah maybe i ended up taking the wrong turns okay now i'm just gonna eyeball i believe it's oh no we gotta beat the train beat the train baby here should we should we train dodge completely stop then go again all right is he gonna land his horn no he didn't wow all right so i believe it is yes i think it's right over there so Let's go kind of snoop on these guys. I'm going to drive by a few times, see if I can see anything. There's a small courtyard, but again, a pretty nice house. I think we're going to be able to find it. I mean, it's like two houses almost. Pretty pretty weird, pretty weird, not going to lie. All right, I think it's the first time I've taken the rollback on a, on a dirt road before. So we're going to have to make sure we take her to the power wash right after this. All right, so I got to be kind of casual about this. People don't really, this is a pretty rural part of of town people don't really drive by too often okay i didn't see anything there so it looks like i don't even know what it looks like this is kind of a really weird setup obviously there's a home on the left but the white building i have no idea what that is there's like a little watchtower there too and obviously if they see a tow truck driving by they're gonna know something's up and uh, they know unless their mailbox doesn't work they know they've been getting phone calls too that they are past due on their payments all right i'm just about to pull it in here i'm not going to pull into the house heels pull over here there we go i think i'm going to pull in here maybe is that a garage what is this it almost looks like a like a church maybe i have no idea like a gathering space can i fit through here okay there's the car 
are oh my goodness they're completely trying to hide this how did they even get it through the door they must have taken it apart or something how did they oh no we are screwed we're literally like infiltrating this guy's home uh does anybody have any ideas no there's no way they i mean i'm sure they're pretty light vehicles just by the looks of it but still you can't lift that up and over i'm sure the engine weighs hundreds of pounds but like the frame is pretty small i'm sure maybe they could have carried it up, but still this is pretty tall they had to have taken it apart okay i have no idea how to get this out what i'm probably gonna do good thing i lift like all the time all right i think there's actually i think there's a door that we can get it through into the main part here all right there we go i just got it out the main door there so there was a side door that we were able to slip it through but these guys are either gone sleeping or i don't know i don't or they they i think they're just gone all right this is really weird they had the keys to it which was pretty nice they were obviously trying to hide it i think yeah so they must take it out that like small side door okay this thing's insane this is crazy it has like i don't understand it has like net oh my goodness it has like uh like dragster tires on it i guess i don't really know but these are I, I i like i see these races like on tv and stuff but never been to one i guess they're called sprint car races i you guys i'm sure some of you watching are gonna be like Spencer tv i know everything and i will uh hopefully be informed by you in the comments all right so let's get out of here i probably sh i i should have of course i should have should have had my hazards on or my flashers on wait do they even work Okay, the, I, I have my hazards on, but where are my flashers? I think they quit working. Anyway, let's keep going here. The sprint car is pretty light. Like, it's actually super light. I picked up the back end just to mess around with it, and it was it was pretty light. But, yeah. I think I'm right on, on the fans on the front. I think that's meant to get it sideways. I don't know. I really don't know. But, it, just if I had to guess. Okay, remember we repoed this house a long time ago? I bet they're going to be happy to see us. Actually, I'm not pulling through there. Let's take a left here. I do not want to pull through there. And, like, have them see me. They'll be pretty, pretty awkward. Here we go. All right, so what we're going to do now is we will head back to the shop, unload this, and then I don't think we have any other jobs. I'm going to have to – I'll clean up the truck here, and we'll kind of hang out and maybe do some paperwork we have a few other things to do around the shop and then pretty much wait for a call it is like this is early morning we only had one call i've i've we've never had just one call so business is slowing a bit slow today but that happens you every day just can't be a hundred bucks or a million bucks hundred bucks that, that we don't even pay for you like oh my there we are i always love our entrance i feel like i talk about it way too much but our entrance is so cool it's like so hidden and then people pull in they're like wait is the repo shop actually here like a lot of a lot of our clients like people are uh like somebody new from the bank that's coming to check us out or is coming to like get one of their vehicles or just like a tow guy's coming to you know swap some out or they're claiming something i really have no there's a few times where people come up here and they have a really hard time finding us even though like we have a whole like you can see it on the gps but they pull up to the uh to the factory there and then they just turn around they're like this is not a repo shop i don't know what this is you can see the sign but just barely and if you don't see it I'm, i totally understand all right so we unloaded the sprint car here and then this thing is a beast it is so quick here let's do some i'm hungry for some donuts boys let's get it oh my goodness this thing is insane watch this oh no oh no it's so quick and if you don't crank on it like you're you're on for a ride look at this okay i just hit a power washer there we go watch that oh my goodness you just look at the spin on here these tires we just absolutely shred these tires oh my goodness and throw it around yeah so those fans on top must just oh my goodness i feel like i'm in like a little go-kart thing it's so quick and like you can i know it's like meant to drift but here let's try this oh no slow 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 we don't hit any of the other cars all right let's leave these here yeah so a few of our vehicles have been picking picked up but other than that still people haven't came and gotten them which is kind of surprising but usually it does take a week or two all right, so that's the first call. Like I said, we don't really have much to do. I'm going to clean off the Dodge real quick. Here we go. Yeah, I got pretty dirty. Let me make sure I get underneath here. But other than that, I don't think we have much else to do. I'm going to sit around, pretty much wait, 
and then hopefully later in the day we get calls i think bad weather is supposed to roll in too but we'll kind of see hopefully that's not the case but sometimes there's accidents with that uh and we'll see if we can get some towing all right so it's about noon now and we got a really really strange and unique call we just got a call from like this outdoors guy uh just the they said they were touring the town this is a pretty good town for like off-roading people who like like to go outside and stuff and it's an atv that went into the river and he must have been like on the banks are actually like pretty wide and he must have been like riding those and then he went off so i <laughs> i i'm gonna do it i, I was saying i'm not gonna take the fordzilla because it's such overkill but i i, I am uh we're gonna be able to throw it in the bed of the truck probably i should probably just take the patriot but you guys know me i i always always have overkill whether i'm like plowing a field cultivating a field harvesting a small field i have like the biggest header biggest combine always so all right let's uh i think i'm gonna take should i take the tow bar where's our okay yeah i think i'm just gonna take the tow bar that'll be better should be good it's a pretty universal hookup so I think we'll be able to find what we're looking for all right so we're all hooked up here and it's absolutely insane okay this is actually i actually think i'm smart in doing this see now the obviously the banks are going to be wet they're going to be sandy and the you like you see it all the time like when car when trucks jeeps whatever get, anything with tire gets stuck in sand it just digs and digs and digs itself into into the grave pretty much like it, it just buries itself and so with the tracks, I'm going to be able to stay on top of kind of the light, like finer sand. Obviously going to be really easy to pull out a four-wheeler, but still you're pulling out a four-wheeler through the water. The guy said it was just too deep for him to like back his truck into. His truck would be like half underwater. By the time he even got it like hooked up, he didn't have a big chain. He just said it would be easier to call me. Like I was like, dude, can't you like, obviously you have a truck. Obviously you have a trailer to be riding your four-wheeler four around. He's like, no, 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 it's way deeper than you think, and um, he hopefully he's down there, and we can kind of get a cool story out of him. And yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty interesting call. So we said it's on the kind of the northeast side of the river here, which just north of town. So let's go from the town, and then I'm pretty much just gonna go on the bank, head up the bank until we run into the people or the four wheeler or one of one of each. I guess he said it was in the water, so hopefully I see him before i see the four-wheeler and okay said it was north of the river there we are keep going up here he said right next kind of by the tracks okay i better slow it down but this uh yeah see i'm just absolutely tearing up the bank so this is what a lot of people like to do there's pretty cool kind of just grasslands open lands that they can go up mountains and stuff and do cool hill climbs on dirt bikes all right, I feel like I've been going a ways here. He said it's not like he said it's before the bank turn. All right, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna turn around here. Okay, he said it was he said it was by the uh, the power lines still north. He said just a hair south of the power lines. Oh wait, there it is. Let's go. There it is. All right, all right. So there it is. The guy must have left or something. I we kind of took a while, but. He was he was right. That is uh, that is a smurge can am four wheeler. That is that is a goner. You, I can barely even see it in this. This water is absolutely so clear. All right. So what we're gonna do now? This is gonna be fun. We're gonna back up, and I don't want to go into the. I mean, I'm gonna go into the water, obviously, but don't want to go too far. Yeah, this would be actually like. I mean, this is pretty steep. I would just like to see any you know kind of truck do this without even trying to like pull another truck out like just if you backed your truck up to this and tried to come out of it alive like i'd say that's a pretty good job well done okay so we're hooked up to the four-wheeler i swam down there let me actually just make sure kind of looks weird there we are we are connected i wish you guys i wish we could do third person so you could see me swim but if it's 19 you can now swim in the water if you didn't know that there we go okay it was actually pretty stuck underneath there it was kind of like like sucked into the to the mud and the sand all right so i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna actually i'll see if i can load this up i need to what i'm gonna do to load this up this might kind of hurt the fordzilla i want to back up into 
I obviously don't have ramps. Should have should have thought about that. I need to back up to a ledge and pretty much have that be my uh, be my ride up and then into the tailgate. But I might. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So this thing actually starts up too, which is pretty crazy. It has a snorkel on the front there, which is pretty nice. Uh, or no, it doesn't. It, that's no, it doesn't. Okay, I don't know that much about four wheelers, but it started up pretty good. And which is pretty lucky. He said it was gonna need there for like an hour or so, but he said he turned it off right away. I don't know. We got pretty lucky. Alright, I found a I found a decent spot here. I need to get it a little better. To load this up, it kinda took me a while to find it. There we go. Alright, I, I wanna go right in between our fifth wheel hook up there. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna nope, I'm not folding up the tailgate. That's a no-go. All right, we'll back out of there. <laughs> oh, it literally when it came down there, the tracks are so like tracks don't have too good a suspension, and it was pretty rough. So let's what I want to do here. All right, what's the move there? And then I'm just drive forward and connect to it. There we go. All right, so we are on our way back. Can I? Let's see. Can I fold it up? No, I don't want to hurt the tailbox too bad. All right, so we're gonna head back to the shop. But I think that's gonna wrap up today's episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching if the foiler stays in there that'll be a miracle everybody please have a great day have a have a happy and safe weekend and thank you all so much for watching hit the like button if you haven't already